somebody asked this question, they said, there are those uh, external fat people, uh, they attain the four jhanas, why is it they don't have wisdom? Ah, this one shows uh, a person, he thinks uh, uh, that a person, uh, that jhanas are not necessary to have wisdom, uh, is um, is uh, to not to understand the suttas uh, properly. It's like they, they think about this uh, Devadatta. Why is it Devadatta? I got all the jhanas and still they didn't have wisdom. Because uh, there's two types of concentration. There's one type of concentration that is not the Buddhist concentration, the external set concentration. And there's a type of concentration which is Buddhist concentration. So, even you have four jhanas, uh, you might have four jhanas of the external set, uh, four jhanas. But to have the four jhanas of the Buddhist, four jhanas uh, is different. Why? To understand this, uh, you must understand the Noble Eightfold Path. The Noble Eightfold Path, uh, the Buddha said, there are eight things uh, that if you cultivate, uh, will bring you out of samsara. Now uh, there are two suttas, uh, one in the Diga Nikaya, I think number 18. There's another sutta, I think Majima Nikaya, the 117. Where the Buddha said, uh, uh, right view comes first. A person, uh, if he follows the, cultivates the Noble Eightfold Path, uh, first he must have right view. And if you have right view, uh, you will naturally uh, uh, develop uh, right thoughts as the second factor of the Noble Eightfold Path. And you have right thoughts, uh, you will naturally come to have right speech as the third factor. And when you have right speech, uh, you will naturally come to have right action and that will bring you naturally to right livelihood which will bring you naturally to right effort which will bring you right, uh, naturally to right sati some people call it mindfulness or recollectedness and which will naturally bring you to right concentration the four jhanas in other words uh, a disciple of the Buddha, if he cultivates the four jhanas uh, and he cultivates the four jhanas correctly, uh, these four jhanas uh, that he cultivates uh, must be supported by seven factors of the Aryan Eightfold Path. That only is the Aryan right concentration. To have the four jhanas not supported by the other seven factors of the Aryan Eightfold Path uh, is not Buddhist Sama Samadhi. That is quite clear in the suttas, like Anguttara Nikaya, the Buddha said, what is the Aryan right concentration? Then he said, is the four jhanas supported by these other seven factors? So when you have the four jhanas supported by the other seven factors, which includes Sati, right mindfulness, contemplation of the four things, uh, that will bring you out of samsara, that will give you the wisdom. But these external set people, they don't have, so how can they get the wisdom? And in the case of Devadatta, even he got all the jhanas, he started it off with wrong view. Yes or not? Because of wrong view, he got wrong thoughts. Because of wrong thoughts, he wanted to kill the Buddha. So he don't have all the, he don't, he don't have the, the, the Aryan Eightfold Path. How can he succeed? Impossible. There is one sutta where the Buddha said, what is the difference uh, between two persons uh, who cultivate the jhanas and then are reborn in the Brahma plane as a Brahma Deva? And these two persons, uh, one is an external sect person, another one is a disciple of the Buddha. What is the difference between these two? After they are reborn, uh, after they are reborn in the Brahma plane as a Brahma Deva. The Buddha said, uh, 
The difference between these two is like this. The person uh, who comes from an external sect uh, teaching, uh, after he passes away from the Brahma plane, uh, he will fall down. Either come down to a lower heaven or the human plane, or even go down to the woeful planes, that is possible. But the Buddha said, the disciple of the Buddha, after he passes away from the Brahma plane, he won't fall down. In other words, he won't fall down in the woeful planes. Uh, he will keep going up uh, until he enters Parinibhaya. Now this time of Sutta, uh, you find, uh, you can understand clearly uh, that uh, the reason why uh, a Buddhist, uh, by cultivating the jhanas, he succeeds is because he's got the other factors. Okay. So like the Buddha said, there is uh, eight factors of the Aryan Eightfold Path, and you must cultivate these eight factors uh, successively one by one uh, and that will bring you to the liberation. So some people because they separate Samatha and Vipassana they say that it is possible to cultivate Vipassana without the uh, jhanas. Uh. But that means uh, the Aryan Eightfold Path uh, you are stopping at seven factors that means you haven't cultivated all the eightfold uh, factors of the path, then uh, just now I mentioned so many suttas, uh, it shows that uh, it's not possible to become uh, arahan if you don't have perfect sila samadhi panya.